All right, yo, what is up, guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit your very own Fortnite highlights video in 2021. Okay, before the video starts, if you guys are new to the channel and you want to drop a sub, it is 100% free for you guys to do. We just hit 50k subscribers, so I'm super thankful for that. So make sure to drop a sub if you want to get me closer to my next goal of 100,000 subscribers. Also, be sure to drop a like and comment as it does mean a lot to me if you guys are giving me feedback on what kind of tutorials you want to see in the future, what kind of videos, what kind of content, all that stuff. So make sure to drop that down below in the comments and i just want to let you guys know that i will be dropping my edit template once we hit 10k followers on twitter we're at 8.5k right now so make sure to head on over to my twitter drop me a follow that will be the first link in the description in today's video i'm going to be going over how you can actually fully edit your very own highlights video in davinci resolve and adobe after effects I'm going to be going over all the basics showing you how to do that all the presets you guys will need will be down below in the description and if you want a lot of other presets make sure to check out my edit pack which will be down below in the description low price of 15 dollars everything you could ever need presets practice clips i templates literally anything you could ever need for highlight editing make sure to check that out i hope you guys do enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the video all right guys so i am in a brand new davinci resolve project we're just going to come up here just to our project settings make sure everything is actually configured the way that we want it to be uh, so just make sure everything's 1920 by 1080 60 fps all that should just be fine all this is just the default settings just press cancel and the first thing we want to actually do is we're just going to get our clips in the media pool and we're also going to get our song so i'm going to be using the song outer space it's an unreleased juice world song and i really like it you guys should have heard it in the preview of this video and uh yeah we're just going to uh, find that and i'll link a video down below showing how you guys can actually download a song for your project if you want to check that out that will be in the description because it's it's just a fairly easy process i'm not going to go over it right now because i don't want to sidetrack the video but we're just going to drag in the song just like this and we should see the audio forms just like this and the, where it peaks is obviously where we have our beats so we're just going to trim it down to right about here and then we're also going to find our beats right here our major beats and we're going to press m on our keyboard which does add a marker and then we're also going to add a marker on the, the hi-hats or the claps after the beats just to actually add a transition point. And then we're also going to add one right here. And that should be fine for now. I may show how to do a third clip, but the, yeah, that's all I'm going to do right now. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we're just going to drag this down an audio track to audio track number two. And we're going to actually double click it on our first clip that we're going to be using. And we're going to navigate using this bar right here to actually find the portion of the clip that we want to use. So we're just going to maybe start it right here using this arrow button and then end it right here using this arrow button. Just drag it in. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to line it up with the kill. So something like that should be fine. Drag it out on the left side. And just like that, it should be synced. That's honestly, that's good enough. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to add velocity. So to just do that, right click, unlink it, go back in by right clicking, go to retime controls. And you should see something like this. We're just going to right click or not right click. Just click on this arrow right here. Add speed point. Come to right after we edit the ramp or whatever it is. If you don't edit a ramp, you can just come to some point before the kill. Add another speed point directly between the two. Change it to 50%. Change this one to 200%. Change this one to 50% just like this and just like that we should have some sort of velocity that looks decent and then we could just overlap it just a tiny bit drag it out and just like that it should look something like this that itself just looks super clean uh you ha do have two options at this point since we are going 50 percent that means that it's going to be 50 percent of the frame rate that the clip is at itself so uh what we're going to do is we're going to go down to retime and scaling if you want to make it kind of a nice frame blend you can go to retime process change it to optical flow what that'll do is the computer kind of generates frames in between so it makes it a lot smoother Completely up to you though, you can uh, make your own choice in terms of that if you think it looks cleaner. Sometimes it can look really weird, so I don't really recommend using it on like 30 FPS clips when the frame rate of the project is 60, that kind of stuff. Uh, but what we're going to do now, we're just going to drag in our second clip right here. We're going to quickly just highlight the area we want to use. So I'm just going to go right about here, just right after, and maybe even on the kill, we're going to add a marker just to make it easier for us. Just like this, we're going to press M. We're going to drag it in. And since we have a marker already, we're just going to line up that marker there, drag it on on either side. And then we're going to do the same velocity process where we just add a speed point there. Go before the kill, just like this. Split between the two. Add another one. Change speed to 50%. Change this one to 200%. And then change this one to 50% as well. Drag this out just like this. 
drag that over 200% just like that and then trim this down to the marker just like that and then that will actually fade out and then that should just be looking pretty pretty clean already and uh, yeah just like that we have already added velocity and it is looking pretty clean uh the next thing we got to do is actually add our kill impact so just drag an adjustment clip and have it so it lasts from the actual kill where we get the kill to the uh the end of the clip so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the fusion tab and this is where you can add all your effects to uh, make sure you actually download all of the presets i'll have in the google drive in the description uh and also be sure to drop us up if you're brand new to the channel i do a lot of stuff like this for you guys for 100 free so if you want to show some love be sure to support me by doing so and then we're just going to uh connect these disconnect the arrows originally and connect it just like that and just like that we already have a super clean effect you can see it changes it just like this and what this does is it does a nice little y shake effect just like that super clean and just like that we can see that it has actually added a super clean effect just like this it's a bit laggy but it's a nice little y shake rgb distort effect with some glint on it which is a super clean effect and all you got to do for that is literally copy it and then just go over to the kill right here and paste it and that just adds the same exact effect you can just trim it down a bit and moving away from impacts the next thing we're going to do is add our build-ups which i also have a preset for in the description so just add an adjustment clip before the kill sometime right around the beginning of the clip so go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 we almost got it exact, but just make sure it's 20 frames long. Go into the fusion tab of the adjustment clip, and we're going to drag in our God build up preset just like this. Connect it on either side. And the thing about this one, it isn't keyframed already, so you're going to have to be doing the keyframing because sometimes it does get messed up when you are saving it as a preset. So the first frame for the vignette, we're actually going to keyframe the opacity down at zero. And then we're also going to go to the very end, keyframe it at one. The shake, we're going to go to the very beginning and keyframe the amplitude at zero, go to the end, keyframe it at one. And lastly, the hue sat bright, we're going to keyframe the brightness at the beginning at around one, go to the very end and keyframe it at about 0.6. That way it does a bit of a darken build up just like this. And we should see... Just like that it's a super clean build up uh, you can use it on any of your clips you can just paste it just like this and line it up all right so now that we've actually done build ups we've done impacts the last thing to do is actually add our transitions so we're going to just add our uh, adjustment clip to the very beginning right here we're going to go into the fusion tab and we're just going to drag in our desired transition so for me i'm going to use the swiped right make sure you are at the very beginning when you do add this because it will mess it up if you don't add it at the beginning you do at some point down here the keyframes will be messed up find the keyframes right here we can see there is a starting keyframe right here a second hash mark a third hash mark and a final one right here make sure you go to the third one which is the second one in the middle so one two three the third one go back out add a marker at that point and then you're just going to actually line that marker up with the with the very 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 middle of this clip right here and what that does is it does a nice little swipe transition between the clips and uh, yeah, you could use that. You can use the zoom one. It's the exact same process. You just drag it into uh, the fusion clip or the adjustment clip. I don't know what I'm saying, but you add it to the adjustment clip. You uh, go back out, add a marker on the third hash mark, and then just line that up in the middle. And lastly, I know I said lastly before, but the last thing you want to do is actually add magic bullet looks. And by the way, all the plugins that you guys will need for all of these, the Sapphire plugins, the BCC plugins, the magic bullet looks plugins are all going to be in the description with a tutorial if you guys want to check that out. But for this, just make sure that you actually have magic bullet looks installed to actually do the color correction. Also, be sure to download the preset. I have a video down below in the description showing you how you can actually import that preset into your magic bullet looks to actually be able to be used. So for this, we're going to uh, just go to our effects thing right here and to add our color correction we're just going to navigate on over to the five insane effects thing I just have this right here just wherever you have it saved to but once you've actually added it you can adjust the strength or whatever you want you can see that 100% makes it a bit dark so if you want to kind of mix it between the two I usually do something around 70% strength and you can just apply that to the entire clip and if you want to you can just you know grab the exact same thing put it on the second clip go into looks again drag on your consistent and then change it to i don't know let's say you had it at 70.6 just make it 70.6 uh and then yeah you could just do that 
70.6 and just like that you have the color correction on the second clip but uh yeah that's pretty much how you can edit your very own highlights video in davinci resolve like i said drop a follow on my twitter we're super close to 10k followers and if you want the ident template for the ident i'm literally about to show you right now i'll quickly show you i'll just drag it in just like this this is the ident right here it's like a diamond ident just like this it has my name on it so like i said make sure to drop a follow on my twitter you can change the emoji on the template you can change the name on the template so you can make it 100 yours so make sure to drop a follow make sure to drop a follow make sure to drop a follow all plugins and tutorials will be in the description as well as the presets that you'll need for this and i hope you guys did enjoy the davinci resolve portion and i'll see you guys in after effects all right guys so welcome to the after effects portion of the video if you did skip ahead to this uh probably because i had the timestamps in the description uh, if not i forgot to so that's really unfortunate uh but just make sure to remind me down below in the comments uh that never hurts the first thing you want to do is just make sure you drag in the clips that you're going to be using so i'm just going to be using these two clips right here and then we're also going to be using this absolute banger of a song which is called outer space by juice world it's like an unreleased song non-copyright you guys can use it for your montages i'm just going to drag it in right here press l on your keyboard twice to bring up our waveforms and we're just going to actually trim it down just to actually see the portion we're going to be using so this should be fine for two clips and what we're going to do is just we're going to find the beats we're going to be using. So this is going to be the first beat right here. And then this one is we're actually we're going to be transitioning on this point. So you can just if you want, you can go up to layer, uh, come down to markers, add marker, or you can just press the button on your keyboard where you can assign keyboard shortcuts to markers or markers to keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I'm not going to explain how to do that, but just however you'd like to do it i press end on my keyboard actually add a marker but yeah after that is done we're actually just going to click on our first clip and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select the portion we want to use by doing this we're going to highlight the left side right here and then we're actually going to highlight the right side right here which just selects the portion we want to use and then we could just trim it down even more if we want to honestly we're going to line up the kill where we actually see the numbers in the siphon with the actual marker we're going to drag it out on the right side and then what we're going to do is i'm going to have a velocity preset in the description for you guys to use but i have a lot of uh, velocity presets that you guys can use in my edit pack so make sure to pick that up if you'd like that will be in the description like i said in the intro but uh this velocity new is you guys can use it and we're just going to line up the second last thing with the actual kill we're going to get rid of the frame blending and uh that should be fine but i'll quickly show you what it looks like with the other velocity from my edit pack and it is super clean trust me when i say this it is probably the best velocity out there i use it in all my highlights videos just look at this real quick let me let it let it render insane velocity but yeah you can just use this velocity if you'd like 100% up to you and then to actually add an adjustment layer we're going to press ctrl alt y ctrl shift d to actually trim these down on either side and then we're going to go up to animation apply animation preset navigate on over to the presets i'll have in the description and that is going to be the pink god hard impact which is kind of a weird name i don't know don't judge me don't judge me what but it's a really good impact just like that super clean and that's all we got to do for the impact so we can uh, just do that with the second clip right here we're going to highlight it find the portion we want to use right around maybe right here just like this trim it down on the right side as well go to right here and then just like that trim it down on either side and then we're going to add an adjustment layer just to prepare for the actual impacts just like this and then we're also going to add the velocity that we just added just right here so joshi vela new this disabled the frame blending just like that and then we're actually just going to add the god hard impact again all stuff to do now is transitions build ups and color corrections so the first thing we're going to do build ups just select all this right here uh get rid of the portions that we don't want to use and we're actually going to add the god build up preset that i've been using for my stuff and pretty much what that is we're just going to highlight these right here and we're going to line it up so the second last keyframe is right on the kill and then just drag this out on either side 
just like this. And what this does, that adds like a nice little build up pre-shake with a vignette, super clean. I use it in all my videos. I also add a monochrome sometimes, which just makes it fade to like a black and white before the actual kill itself. And then I'm going to copy paste this build up onto this point right here. We're going to bring up our keyframe menu by pressing U and we're going to line up the second last keyframe with the kill itself. And the next thing we're gonna do is actually add our transition. So to do this, go to the very middle point between the two kills, press Control, Alt, Y on our keyboard, bring an adjustment layer just right here. And then we're gonna to go to the very middle, go to animation, apply animation presets, go up to your, anim wherever you save the preset to. So for me, it's going to be right here. You can do the zoom in or out transition. I'll have both of them in the Google Drive for you guys to use. Line up the third, uh, whatever it is, the keyframe right here, the second hash mark in the middle with the actual point. And what that'll do is it'll have it so it zooms through like a nice little transition. And all that's left to do now is color correction. All right, so to actually add our color correction, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find the actual clip layer. We're gonna press Control Space on your keyboard if you are using the video co-pilot. But if you're not, you can just go to your effects and presets up here. Look up looks just like this, drag that on directly just like this, go to your edits, and then you're going to navigate on over to the uh, color correction preset I'll have in the description. I'll have a video on actually how to import that if you would like to uh, figure out how to do that. But what we're going to do is we're just going to change the strength to about 70%, which is what I normally use. Right click on it, copy it, and paste it on this one right here just so we have it on the second clip. And just like that, you pretty much have your own highlights video. Uh, I'll quickly show you what it looks like. It might lag a bit because it hasn't rendered, but... But yeah, you can just do that with all your clips. Just keep on repeating the cycle. Add your markers, add your velocity, your impacts, your transitions, your buildup, all that stuff. 100% up to you guys. And like I said, if you guys want to drop a follow on my Twitter, because I am releasing the ident template to this ident, which is right here. I got to quickly find it. It should be, yeah, right up here. Just drag it in just like this. This is the ident template. You've probably seen it in all my videos. Uh, it has the nice little spinning diamond, completely 100% original. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a new one soon, so I'm gonna be releasing the template to this. So make sure to show me some love on my Twitter. We're super close to 10K. Once we hit 10K, I'm actually gonna be releasing uh, this template right here. But yeah, make sure to show me some love. If you guys wanna pick up my edit pack for a low price of $15, make sure to check out the link in the description to that. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.